Hello everybody. I hope that you are having a great week wherever you are. At City of Joy, this week has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, this week I came across a verse that's one of my favorite verses in scripture, Philippians 1.6. And it says, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Now, I love this verse because I am a work in progress. I'm so thankful that God is not done with me yet. I also love this verse for, for City of Joy because we also are a, a work in progress. Now, God has blessed us with so many great resources, uh, such a great team. And it, indeed, it has been a, a good work that he's begun in us. And I'm so thankful that he has more to do with City of Joy. Part of the good work that God began in City of Joy from the very beginning was our heart to impact the entire community. And that this heart for, for outreach to the community continues today. Uh, today, as our reputation as a school has grown, as our academic success continues, well, we're gaining a, a good reputation. And so our influence in, in the community is even greater today. Uh, we've got teachers coming from from other schools, uh, principals coming from other schools to learn from, from City of Joy, to learn some of our, our teaching techniques. And this summer, one of our outreaches in partnership with Northwest Christian School was to the Deaf Club at Gatagara School, just around the corner from us. But one of my favorite moments from this summer was when the staff from Niavatovu came to Joy Christian School to play volleyball against our staff. And it was an intense game. There was plenty of smack talk going back and forth. There were cheers on both sides. And I'm sorry to say that this time City of Joy was defeated, but let the record show that in our previous two encounters with Niabutovu, we came out victorious. The game ended with a group photo and words of encouragement from the leaders of the two schools as we remember that we share a mission to serve the kids of this community. And though the Joy team was discouraged after the defeat, uh, they eventually did remember their dream. <laughs> The big thing happening on campus this week has been that construction of Joy Secondary School continues. Uh, I want to give a special thanks to a few people, to the Majors, the Winers, the Straits, the Monocle Young, Purnell, Hartwick, Hallinan, nice. McClintock, Weber, Ickler, Taylor, Haas, Amabile, Stauffer, and Woodring oh. families. Uh, and also I want to thank Trinity United Methodist Church, New Community of Spokane, Good Shepherd Lutheran and Southwood Baptist Church. You guys have done an incredible thing and the work happening right now would not happen without you. So thank you so much for what you've done. And speaking of building and outreach, one of our future projects, one of our future buildings on the Joy Secondary School campus is a building that is going to be dedicated to outreach. But that's a, a future project that I will tell, tell you about uh, at a future date, but I'm really excited that this is going to be a part of our, our plans moving forward. I want to wrap up this video by going back to Philippians 1 because I think that there are a few more verses here that are appropriate to share. Listen to this. I thank my God every time I remember you. In all of my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you and in me and in Joy Christian School and in our students will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. God bless you guys. Have a great week.